We've been getting a lot of calls into the office these past few weeks about some yellow rocket in uh, a lot of our soybean fields that was burned down and now did not get killed and is coming back. So we went out there to try to investigate, and what we found out there was not actually yellow rocket, but what we've come to know as crest leaf groundsel. Uh, it's got a lot of other other names out there, butterweed, yellow top, uh, golden ragwort, but it's a little bit different <clears throat> than the yellow rocket, especially when it flowers. It's probably one of the key characteristics, but it's a completely hairless plant. It's a hollow stem. If you broke it out, you'll be able to see that it, that it is actually hollow. And you'll see the purpling. It's very purple on the stems. When we look down the leaves, there'll be veins of purple um, that transpire at the, the beginnings of the leaves and even down through there. But when we get to the flower, the flower is very distinct. It's, it's more like the sunflower, a, a disc and ray type, type assessment where we have the, the center circle part and then actual individual petals that that surround that circle as we go through. They're very yellow in color. Looks very similar to, uh, especially from the road, that, to our yellow rocket. Uh, but this is, the this is the weed that we're actually finding out there in the field itself. Uh, it is a winter annual. It's easiest to kill late fall uh, after it emerges or early in the spring before it starts growing. Once we get two to three inches on this plant, it becomes very, very difficult to kill, which is why we're seeing it a lot in our late burn down passes. That got delayed by the rain. Uh, we hammered these. Uh, we actually had some fields out here we sprayed with a mixture of Sharpen, 2,4-D, and Roundup. Uh, we melted these plants to the ground. They all turned brown. They looked extremely dead. And then uh, a couple weeks later, they're actually starting to come back uh, and getting some pretty good growth on them. We've hit them again with 2,4-D and Roundup, uh, and it, it melts them back some more. And we still got some that are coming out of it as far as that goes. So once they start growing like this, they begin can extremely hard to kill <laughs> something we're going to want to watch but if you think you have some yellow rocket out there uh, you want to get out and investigate get these uh, each plant can produce hundreds of thousands of seeds uh, per plant throughout the the growing cycle so it's something we want to try to keep from heading out to seed whether it's cutting those plants mowing them down uh, getting rid of them if you want to eradicate them out of there one other probably important aspect as far as this goes is that it is toxic to animals. Uh, I think sheep, cows, horses, I think sheep take it the best, but but it's toxic and the haying process, drying it down, does not remove those toxins. Uh, if you're chopping the plant, it can dilute some of the toxins in there, but it does not, does not get rid of it completely. They're a very hardy plant and they grow very well in wet conditions. So if you're mowing hay fields and you see these out there, you're gonna wanna very, take very good notice. But also our waterways, if you're baling waterways or, or grass ditches to feed the cattle or, or any other animals, you'll want to do some checking to make sure that these aren't, aren't in there as well. Um, it's usually low dose chronic uh, poisoning in cattle, but it is something you're going to be aware of as you go throughout the season.